cries out hallelujah I thank God for saving saving me oh when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me my monitors then my soul cries out hallelujah I thank God for saving saving me I'm going to sing it again to myself oh when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me then my soul cries out hallelujah I thank God for saving, saving me, my soul say yes, 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 my Lord, my soul says yes, 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 my Lord, do you love him? Yes, yes, my Lord, do you love him? Yes, 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 my Lord. God bless you today. We thank God. It's little base, my call. Appreciate God for each and every one of you. Main down the big neck of my honor to up. Thank God. How many is glad to be in the house of the Lord? One more time. Somebody said the Lord have allowed us together. One more time. Say amen. And I'm just so glad for the opportunity to be before you once again. Amen. In this beautiful city of Gulfport, Mississippi. Amen. With a, I believe today that God has a blessing with your name on it. Look at somebody said, I got to have it. Amen. It's kind of like Lay's potato chips. I can't just eat one. Say amen. The Lord spoke to me years ago and told me, I'm going to make you like a almond jar. Irres <laughs> he did. <laughs> Say amen. <laughs> you got to want it. Say amen. Some of y'all said some of y'all want seconds up in there. Say amen. Some of y'all was with me. Slide hill, coming to get look like some, some look, tell some, you ain't coming to get some more. You coming to get some more? Say amen. <laughs> they sent me a text, a little text of Ashton singing a song. It tickled me. <laughs> what was the name of that song? Victory shall be mine. He said, "When I hold my thing, something done with everything, dang." <laughs> He was singing it too. <laughs> he got it. Victory, victory, shall be mine. When I hold my thing, thing to me, thing to me, shall be mine. <laughs> song that song, hey man. I, I looked at it about two or three times. Say, man, you know, these kids be setting up, they, they be listening. Say, man, they ain't playing. They ain't sitting around just playing. These kids are just listening. Hey man, some of them, that's their joy. Hey man, they send me different tapes clips of some of these kids singing on their way to school and stuff. Amen. Just learning. Say amen. amen. I'm going to quite look at it and I pray for my babies. Is that right? Amen. But I love you. want to give special thanks to all my elders, their lovely wives. Amen. Thank God for all of you. For the Barkham in her absence, we thank God for her. Talk to her. Amen. Today. Amen. Thank God for Sister Dorothy. All of you. Amen. amen. Grace us with your presence. Visitors, saints, and friends. Pete's and repeats. We love you. Not going to pull on the time. Those of you in the live stream, 
Once again, we do want to welcome you, amen, to our Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening worship and deliverance service. And I believe that God has something special for you, you, and each and every one of you. Somebody said, Brother McCoy, how do you do it? Well, I'll tell you how you do it. How hard is it to do you? How hard is it to do you? One of my children asked me one time, said, Daddy, are you ready to preach? I said, are you ready to breathe? <clears throat> just as ready as you is to breathe, that's how ready I am to preach. Say amen. amen. Just, give me, just give me a few minutes. We'll get it together. Is that right? Amen. Well, we love you so much. Thank God for the praise team. Amen. Moving on up. Amen. amen. Singing from their heart. Amen. Thank God for the solos, everything, musicians. Stepping in there. So just coming on up. Say amen. amen. I'm enjoying them. I enjoy, I enjoy cooperation. You know, music, musicians mean, they call it a band. A band is together. You understand? That's what a band is, people that are together. Musicians are, are technicians, and they work to make you happy, make you glad, to incite you to, and if they're playing under the anointing, to break the yoke. Say amen. Not to entertain. I'm not singing to entertain y'all. When I sing that, God has never failed me yet. I'm not just singing that. I'm telling myself that God has never failed me yet. Well, if he ain't never failed me yet, then he ain't going to fail me no time. Because he's the same when? Today and what? Amen. To the book of Genesis, beloved, chapter 1, verse 26. Very familiar scripture. I hadn't touched on it in a while, but we gonna, I'm always preaching about it. But you can't preach Jesus without preaching this. Thank God for all of you. Love you. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And God said, now pay attention, let us make man where? In our image and after our likeness. And let them have what? Dominion, Dominion authority, power over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over all the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth up on the earth. So God created man in his own image, and in the image of God created he him, male and female, created he them. Y'all ready for it? To the book of St. John, chapter 1, verse 11. St. John, chapter 1, verse 11. <coughs> St. John, chapter 1, verse 11. I had a Wonderful service in Slidell. Say amen. God dealt with our hearts. If you was able to see the live stream, God dealt with our hearts. See, people got to get their heart dealt with. Say amen. We're with shall a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed there unto the word of God. St. John chapter 1 verse 11. He came to his own and his own received him not, but to his many. Now watch what I'm reading now. Pay attention. You cannot just be sitting up just skipping him. If the Bible plainly declares and says that if one heaven and earth will pass away, if one jot or one tittle shall in any wise pass from the law. That's not saying a tittle or a jot is not a word. It's not a sentence. It's not a paragraph. A jot is the dot of the I. The tittle is the cross of the T. So he's saying if just a piece of a letter is missing, Heaven and earth will pass away. That's how important the word of God is. And so we have to pay attention to every word. Is that right? Don't just read over. Don't just rush through. Those. Take your time. In patience, you'll possess your soul. The Bible said he came to his own, and his own received him not, but to as many as received him. To them gave he power or authority to do what? Become what? Now pay attention. Sons of what? Now, sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, it ain't got nothing to do with blood, nor of the will of the flesh, this ain't a carnal-minded move, nor of the will of man. Man ain't got nothing to do with it. This ain't got no artificial insemination. This is nothing, amen, because man be tampering with stuff, cross-breeding it, you know, high-breeding and genetically cross-breeding stuff. You understand? This ain't got nothing to do with man, but of who? God. But of God. Now, remember now, but of God. And the word was what? made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory as the glory of the only begotten of the father full of what grace. full of grace and truth is that right amen go with me 
to the book, to the fifth chapter, to the fifth chapter of St. John and the 14th verse, St. John 5 and 14. Now Jesus had told a man to take up his bed and walk, but it was on the Sabbath day. And the Pharisees, they was always jealous of him, so they always sought occasion to try to come against him for things he does. Because they couldn't, they couldn't, you know, we say, which one of you can convince me of sin? Which one of you can say I've sinned? But they was always trying to catch him like, they, like them people was, you know, all them captains and stuff in the days of Daniel. Always trying to trap him up, but you understand they couldn't do it. So here it was now. He'd have told a man to take up his bed and walk on the Sabbath, a crippled man. Been that way for 30 something years. But God gave the man a miracle. Y'all listening? But uh, the Bible said in 13 verse, in 13 verse, let me make it a 14 verse. It said, and afterwards Jesus findeth him in the temple and saith unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest the worst thing come upon thee. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus that made, which had made him whole. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus. Now they sought, persecute me to chase, chase down to, to do harm. And they persecute Jesus and sought to slay him. They just didn't want, they didn't want to kill him because he had done these things when? On the, On the Sabbath. Now watch. But Jesus answered them, my father. Now remember now, nobody called God father. They call him the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They call him Jehovah. They call him uh, 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 Yahweh. They call him many, many things, but nobody called him Father. Nobody called him Father. And he said, my Father worketh hither too, and I work. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him. Now they wanted to kill him because he had broken the Sabbath, because not only had he broken the Sabbath, but he said that God was his what? Now watch what, well you got to listen to what I'm getting ready to show you. See, we say things, but we don't really know what we're saying. We speak a lot of things, but we don't really understand what we're saying. But the Bible said, and they, they sought the more to kill him because not only had he broken the Sabbath, but he said that God was his father, making himself what? Wait a minute now, now, now wait a minute now. Making himself by saying God was his father, thus making himself equal with what? With God. Y'all got that? Uh, to the book, to the book of St. John, chapter 10, and verse 27. I'll be out you in just a minute. I'm just kind of laying a foundation. Just, you know how my notes are. Because see, there's some crazy stuff here. St. John chapter 10, verse 34. Jesus answered and said, it is written in your law. I said what? Now, wait a minute now. I said you are what? And watch what he's saying. He's going to explain this in just a minute. He said, if he called them gods, whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be what? Broken. But if you read that scripture, it said ye are gods and all of you are the what? Get, get Psalms 82, verse 6 real quickly. This is where it's coming from. So you can get it. Psalms 82, verse 6. Psalms 82, verse 6. He said, ye are gods, and all of you are the what? Children. Wait a minute. All of you are the what? Children. Now ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High, right? Go with me to the book of St. John. Chapter, uh, I mean, First John 4 and 16. And one last scripture after this, okay? St. John, First John 4 and 16. And one last scripture after this. Thank you, Jesus. Now pay attention. Watch this. St. John, 1 John 4 and 16. And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is what? God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth where? In God and God where? God in him. Watch this 17th verse. Now you must pay attention. Herein is our love made perfect. 
That we may have boldness in the what? Now this is the hour of judgment. This is the hour that God's bringing judgment like never before, right? He said, that now, now during this time, most people are scared. People are terrified. The, 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 the diseases, the, the, the viruses, the, the famines, the economical breakdowns, the wars, the rumors of wars. People right now, people are being fearful. I mean, just tormented. You've never seen so many scary people, you understand, just fearful. But the Bible said we would have boldness in the day of judgment, right? He said that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, say because. because. Now, there's a reason we're going to have boldness in the day of judgment because as he what? Is. As he what? Is. As he is, so are we where? In this world. As he is, so are we where? In this, world. in this world. You got it? To the book of Philippians chapter 2 and verse 5. Philippians 2 and 5. Bear with me. I'm preaching Daryl McCoy. I mean, I got to keep myself encouraged. There's too much stuff going on. Say amen. 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 I'm reminding myself. Pay attention. I know folk right now, you know, it just, they, done, they, done, they done took people's dream away. They done took the hope away. Church folk ain't got no hope no more. Church ain't folk ain't got no. They ain't got a goal, you know. But the Bible said, uh, 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 now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things what? And the evidence of things, what? Not seen. seen. Y'all listening to me? It is the evidence of things, what? Not seen. Not seen. Now, well, well, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Well, your faith is, is, your, is your bow and arrow. Your hope is your target. But if I take the target, then it ain't no use for your bow and arrow. Because you ain't got nothing to shoot at. Say amen. Your faith takes what you're expecting and anticipating and hoping for and shoots at it and brings it to the now. Y'all don't hear me? And say, I got it. All right? Here it is. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. If you got to say man. Now pay attention now. This is some crazy stuff now. I don't sound, sound it, 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 I, I, didn't, I didn't write this, but I believe this. I didn't write this, but I believe this. Just like I believe, I, I mean, you know, some people believe they're going to die. Now if I die, it ain't because I believe it. Because I don't, I don't believe I'm going to die. I'm going to believe I'm going to be like Enoch. I believe I'm going to be like Elijah. Amen. Well, if I die tomorrow, you, you can write it down and say he believed he was going to be like Enoch, so maybe God had another plan. But this is what I believe. A death ain't certain. There's some people, that's free. I was reading the other day about Mel Chesedek. You understand Mel Chesedek? He ain't have no father, no mother, no what, beginning or end. They don't even know where he went. Call me McCoy, but you... I'm, Say, man, they don't know who it. Well, I had a father. <laughs> Excluded me on that one. <laughs> the Bible said in Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, let, watch, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of what? In the form, in the image, in the form of God. Thought it not robbery that he wasn't taking nothing away to be what? To be what? Trouble down a bit. To be equal with God. But made himself of no what? Wait a minute. So now there's a key to this thing. There's a key to it. Made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a what? Now wait a minute. Now I was, I was preaching in Slidell. And folk don't understand this Latter-day revival is predicated upon humility and submission. In order for us to walk in what I'm getting ready to preach in, it's going to take a humble servant. It's going to take somebody that's walking in complete obedience. See, people just think they can just talk about, I'm like, you know, it, it, uh -uh. It's, 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 it's a formula to this. And the Bible said these words. Who being in the form of a servant made himself and was made like unto men, being found in the fashion of a man, he what? He what? I'm trying to tell you this. Watch now. He humbled himself. But he thought it not robbery to be equal with God. He thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but he humbled himself and became what? Wait a minute, because you're not going to obey until you humble yourself and realize that the person that you're humbling yourself to is telling you what to, telling you right. 
You have to be subject to it. You understand? He humbled himself and became obedient even to the death of the cross. Wherefore God also have highly exalted him and have given him a name above every name. I don't care what you name, he's above it. And that at the name of Jesus, now why, why that devil fighting so hard? You don't see the devil fighting Buddha, Muhammad, Hare Krishna. You don't see him fighting none of these folk. But he won't fight Jesus. Say amen. I mean, it's all out attack on, on the name of Jesus. And that devil know it. That devil know it. That devil know it. In the demonic world, those of you that have ever been tapped into that spiritual realm, you know them demons, they scatter that name. They, they fear that name. Say, man, you can say Jehovah all day, you Yahweh and, and, and El Shishkanu and all. You can say all that. They don't, they don't budge. Mention the name of Jesus and watch what happens. You're going to get some results. And you know that name of Jesus is universal. I don't care what country you in, what language they speak, you can say Jesus. And automatically, Rosetta Stone steps in. <laughs> Them demons know who you talking about. Say amen. It don't make no difference what country you in. I've been all around the world. You can say Jesus. I don't care. And I was in Germany. You say Jesus. Them devils know automatically just that interpretation comes in. They know who you're talking about. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Father, in the name of Jesus, please, I ask God for a divine miracle upon this vessel of clay. You know what I need. You know what I ask for, God. I can't do nothing on my own. And I ask God that you would give me words of wisdom, Lord, to utter your word, that I speak the truth in love. Give them a listening ear. Give them eyes to see and lighten the eyes of their understanding. Give them a heart to perceive what the Spirit is saying. Now, Father, this is an hour now that your sheep have got to hear your voice. And a stranger, don't let them follow. Father, in the name of Jesus, we need you, Lord. Let your spirit of wisdom and revelation drop upon us. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Now, I'm going to minister a word. I want you to listen. Reverb down. I'm going to minister a word today. Now, you have to listen to me. You know, I tell people all the time, the ends of the world upon us, this is it. And it's getting closer. I've been talking about this getting closer. I mean, I've, I've never seen things so close. You know, when you, when you look at and, 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 and the signs of the time, the wars and the rumors of wars, the false prophets, the false Christ, the graphic in the modern now, the base down a bit, and the false Christ and, and, and all of these different things that's happening in the land. You know, when you see the, 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 the famines in the land and the pestilence, the diseases and all of the different things that's happening in this hour, you know, it gives you to know, you know, the Bible say earthquakes, you know, the volcanic, volcanic eruptions, you know, all of this stuff is happening. All of this stuff is happening in this hour. Y'all listen? And, uh, too much. and all of these different things are happening in this hour. And you see it. That's why I tell the Lord, say, watch and pray. Two things God wants you to watch, and that's the signs of the time. And watch yourself. Keep your eyes. Take heed unto yourself. You have to watch yourself because, you see, you know, it's something about us. It's, you know, I tell them all the time, there's a part of you that don't like you. See, the real you is the soul of man. See, when you die and you come by, by that casket and they say, oh, they look good. That's not them. That's the body they lived in on the face of this earth. That was the suitcase. That was the, you understand, God breathed upon man. Man became a living soul. Y'all listening to me? You understand? The body goes back to the dust, but the spirit goes back to be with the Lord. See, the original man is the soulish man that's made in the image and likeness of God. Y'all listening? And there's a part of you, there's a part of you that don't like you. And it'll team up. I'm talking about this thing that you done pampered and you done did all this stuff to wash and cleanse. But this stuff will team up with the devil and depress you. Team up with the devil and, and cause you to become suicidal. Team up with the devil and cause you to make one of the most horrific mistakes in the world that'll cost you for the rest of your entire life and even for eternity. So you have to keep your eyes on your flesh. Paul said, you know, when I would to do good, evil is present with me. Paul turned around and he said, I know that within me, that is within my flesh, the well of no good thing. There's no good thing within me. You understand? So that's why I'm constantly bringing my body up under. Paul said, I bear about in my body the dying of the Lord Jesus Christ, that the life also of Christ may be made manifest in my mortal body. Amen? 
So I'm constantly killing out this thing. You have to watch this, right? Pay close attention. Now watch the wisdom of this. The Bible said, now watch, the end is the beginning. The beginning is the end. We're coming to the end, but really we're coming back to the beginning. I said, we're coming to the end, but we're really coming back to the beginning. Everything is in full circle. You know how the woman got in front of the man? Notice what's happening now. The church then got in front of God. They're getting this knowledge. They're eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The same thing is happening. But all of this is written for our knowledge. There's some of us is going to catch the wisdom and we're going to stay. We're not going to we're not going to get in front of the word because in front of the word, you cannot defeat the devil. You understand? The Bible said the serpent is more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. So see I learned a wisdom from Eve. I learned when you step in front of your word, in front of your Adam, you don't have no defense right? And then when you step in front everything connected to you have to go down with you. So I don't want amen, uh, innocent people to go down with me because I done jumped in front of the word. I done stepped in front of God you understand? Your deliverance is in the word. The word of God the truth is your shield and your buckler. Are you listening to me? He sent his word and healed them. He sent his word and cast out spirits, right? So watch this. Now the Bible said, in the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. Not in the beginning, God and the devil. In the beginning, God. But then he went on down the line and God spoke. Now pay attention now. The end is the beginning. The beginning is the end. We're coming to the end. But as we come to the end, we're coming back to the beginning, right? You understand what I'm saying? So God say, let us make man in our own image and after our likeness, right? Let us make man in our image and after our likeness, right? And let them have dominion, power, authority over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, over all the cattle, over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So the Bible says, so God made man in his own image and in the image of God made he him, male and female made he them and gave them dominion. So they walked in dominion long as they was, uh, the Bible said, in the image and the likeness of God, long as they was in the image and the likeness of God, long as they was in the image and the likeness of God, they walked walked in total dominion. First of all, God's not a man that he should lie. Neither is the son of man that he's got to repent. God is a, a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Is that right? He said the spirit quicken it, but the flesh profit of nothing. He said the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Are y'all listening to me? So God is a word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. So the original man was made in the image and likeness of God. Now you got to listen to me. Here's why the devil, all of the stiffest things uh, you got to, well, uh, the devil, he knows something about you. He knows something about you that, that you don't understand about yourself. You've got to learn these things about yourself. You understand? You're made in the image and likeness of God. You're made just like God. So in the image and likeness of God, in God, you had dominion. In God, you had authority. You understand? I tell you all the time when David said, when I consider the heaven, the moon, the stars, and all the works which thy fingers have made, I said, what is man that thou art so mindful of him and the son of man that thou wouldest even visit him? You made him a little lower than the angels, but yet you crowned him with glory and honor, and yet you've given him dominion over all the works of thine hand. You understand? So God gave this authority to man, but he gave it to him in him, right? So God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Long as man was in God, God was in him. What are you saying? In the beginning was the word. The word was with God, and the word was God. Long as Adam was in the word, in the word and the word was in Adam he walked in that power he walked in that authority but the Bible said because <clears throat> God had a master plan you know the Bible said uh, one scripture said <clears throat> one scripture said uh, oh taste and see that the Lord he is good but Jesus, one, a young man came to Jesus and said good master what must I do that I may inherit eternal life he said why callest thou me good there's none good but one and that is who so now watch now. You got to listen to me. See, God got a plan. God don't make no mistake. You'll never find mistake or accident in the, in the dictionary of God. There's no such thing as an accident or a mistake. Everything is by divine purpose. Everything is by divine design. Y'all listening to me? You understand? And nothing by accident. But God is good. God is good. But let us make man in our own image and after our likeness. Now, God is good. God is light and in him is no darkness at all, right? 
You understand? God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good, right? But now God is good. God is good. God is light. But then the Bible turns around and said, God saw everything that he had made, and behold, look, y'all, it is very good. It's not just good, but it's very good. Everything that God made was very good. But watch now. The Bible said in Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7, he said, I form light, I create darkness. I form light, but I create darkness. He said, I make peace, but I create evil. Now, God is good, but why would you create evil? God is light, why would you create darkness? Why would you create darkness and create evil? You understand? There's a purpose for it. And then say it is good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Y'all understand? It is good. Why would you why you say that? Well, God allowed now he made man in his own image and after his likeness, but God with his in when his in his divine understanding and his in his in his infinite knowledge, you understand, he knew that the only way that man was going to ever get to know who he was, he had to do some things, right? So God made man in his own image and after his likeness, and he said, Let us make man. But from, from Genesis of one all the way to twenty six. I mean, the 25, it was God. But when it got to the 26th verse, he said, let us make man. So it was some other folk that helped God make man. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. There's some other things that helped God make man. So here it was now. So God, God formed, God, the Bible said, God planted a garden in eastward in Eden, and there he caused to grow the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Not the devil. The devil had nothing to do with this. This is a God thing. This is a purpose thing. That's why I'm going to show you how to get the best out your mess, the gain out your pain, the crown out your cross. I'm going to show you how to be able to give God thanks in every single thing that you do. You understand? I'm talking about giving thanks, giving praise. You know, I'm talking about the blessings. See, Satan knows something about you. You understand? It's something about that praise. He said your praises. Well, he said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises will continually be in my mouth. Bless the Lord at all times. Is that right? Now watch the wisdom of it now. He said, uh, 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 God, God planted a garden eastward in Eden and God caused to grow. God gave it his elevation gave it uh, everything that it needed it caused to grow the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil now why would you cause a tree to grow that could cause somebody to have problems why would you cause a tree to grow that would cause somebody to stumble to cause somebody to fall y'all listening we always speak about the fall of Adam, right? Like it was an accident. Like I told you a long time ago, you understand? I used to preach that, you know, it was a, the fall of Adam was, you understand, an accident. Like um, Adam made a mistake, but God said it wasn't no mistake and it wasn't no, it wasn't no accident. You understand? He said the fall of Adam was a plan. You understand? I, I, he, the Lord spoke to me and he said, look at the words planted and put your thumb over the letters T-E-D of planted and you get the word plan. You don't plant, plant corn unless you plan on having corn flakes, corn chips, corn dogs, corn bread. Y'all don't hear me? Corn on the cob. You got what I'm saying? You don't plant nothing unless you have a plan. So God planted a garden eastward and caused to grow the tree of life and and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And he commanded the man. He told, put the man in the garden. And he told him, he said, he put, told him to dress the garden. But he commanded the man, he said, now of, of every tree of the garden, thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that you eat thereof, you shall surely what? Now remember, God is God. In the beginning was the Word. Now watch, pay attention. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In this Word was life. L-I-F-E, and that life was the light of men. The Bible said, my son, attend unto my words, incline thine ears unto my saying, let them not depart from thine eyes, but keep them in the midst of thine heart for that word. My word, amen, uh, uh, shall be life, life unto all that find them, and health unto all their flesh. So, so Adam had life, right? He had life, but he really didn't understand life. He didn't really understand good. He didn't really understand, uh, uh, y'all listening to me, what, 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 uh, 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 he could, didn't really understand what light was, life, and good. He didn't really know what good was, what life was, and what light was. Man did not know what that was. They don't know what it was. 
if you keep doing somebody good, 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 say like some of you did your children, you're just good, 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 good. You understand? So what happens is they don't know bad. So, so what we do as humans, because we're creatures of adaptation and creatures of habit, we take things for granted that it should be this way all the time. But you never show your child or anybody the bad for them to be able to appreciate the good. Y'all don't hear me? See, that's how we say, I just don't understand. I do every, all this stuff and just do this. They don't appreciate nothing because you ain't never gave them nothing to be able to cause them to appreciate it. See, if you understand, like I tell them, if you have day and no night, it ain't right. I said, if you have day and no night, it ain't right. You understand? So what you're doing, you, you know, they don't appreciate nothing because you ain't never did nothing to them for them to appreciate it. Take something from them and they'll, they'll realize how much, how, 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 much, how much it's worth. Y'all listening? So God, now with the plan, I'm like, I know, I know that, I know that I told you don't eat of this tree, cause I'm made in the image and likeness of God, and I'm not gonna be before you very long, but I'm preaching to Daryl McCoy. I understand this is the end of the world. Now you got to listen to me. You got to listen to me. This is the gospel. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel of God. He said, don't eat of that tree, for in the day you eat thereof, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. But now. God looked at man. Now he saw Mr. Monkey with Miss Monkey, Mr. Giraffe with Mr. Giraffe, and Mr. Mr. Elephant with Miss Elephant. But he looked at man, and man didn't have nobody, so it's not good for man to dwell alone. But I will make Adam a what? Now I'm not gonna make him a wife. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. Let us make man. Let us base. Let us make man. Y'all listening to me? Let us make man. I'm gonna make Adam a what? Now, he didn't say nothing about no wife or no sugar and sugar cakes and sugar dumplings and sweetie pies and sugar babies and booze. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying? He said, I'm going to make Adam a what? And help me. And help me. Now, the word help means to assist. Meet means to get there. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. Meet, meet, get there. You understand? He made Adam uh, uh, somebody to assist him to get where he needed to be. Now, his whole thing was to get to be where God was, to become like God. His whole purpose is to become like God. Now, you got to listen to me. You understand? So, God caused Adam to fall into a deep sleep. Now, he's made in the image and likeness of God. God is the spirit. And they that worship me must worship him in spirit and truth. But God breathed that spirit upon a body, and that body became a living soul, right? But the original Adam was a spirit. He was a word, right? He was the word. He was in God, and God was in him. He had word on him and word in him, but he was the word made flesh. He was the first word made flesh. Are uh, y'all listening to me, right? So God opened up his flesh. Now remember, he's spirit, but God opened up his flesh and took out a rib, closed up the flesh instead thereof, and made Adam and help me. When Adam woke up, Adam woke up and he looked and he saw. He saw her and he said, uh, bone of my bone, pay attention, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, I will call her woman. Not bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, spirit of my flesh, spirit. There was a component left out. You understand? She was bone of his bone, flesh of his flesh, but not spirit of his spirit, right? She was totally carnal. That's why the Bible said honor the women as the weaker vessel. In other words, her, her, her life was Adam. Adam was her word. You understand? As the Bible without the spirit is dead it's also faith without works is dead outside of Adam Eve couldn't survive outside of Adam. Eve was a dead woman. But now the Bible said the serpent was more subtle than any man, any beast. Any beast without God in your fleshly mode, in your fleshly carnal state, you are considered a beast. Amen. It's the wise man Solomon called us the beast. It was Paul that called us evil beast. It was Peter that called us brute beast. So we're considered a beast. But serpent, Satan, the devil, is wiser, more subtle than any beast of the field, right? So the devil came to the woman. Now watch now, came to the woman with her husband right there. This is why you got to watch your flesh because your flesh is disrespectful. Your flesh 
your flesh or dishonor God in a heartbeat. This woman, I'm talking about this here. I'm talking about this. This woman's husband was right there. And Satan came to her. I'm talking about a word. A word came to her flesh. Instead of her stepping behind her word and letting her husband, her word, her pastor talk to another word. She wanted flesh to talk to a word. See, you're no match. You're no match to the, to the spirit world. You don't match the words that I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are lighter. You understand? So the devil came to her and said, the Bible said that what serpent said unto her, of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. You understand? Yea, uh, she said, yea, have God said you may not eat of it. every tree of the garden? She said, no. We may eat of every tree of the garden, but the tree that's in the midst of the garden, we shall not eat of it, for in the day we eat the other, we shall surely die. So there it was. Now he's talking into this flesh now. Instead of this flesh, watch this. Going back with the word. Say, I, I listen, uh, I got my instructions from the word. It was the word that told me that we should not eat. See, I don't know. This word is the thing that told me that. So talk to the word. Talk to the authority. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. Y'all listening to me? Talk to the word. But no, she want to take. Flesh wants to be just proud. Think it. Can you understand? Listen, this ain't, ain't what you think. Though we walk in the flesh, we war not after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the, the knowledge of God. And bringing into captivity every thought into the obedience of Christ. Are y'all listening to me? The Bible said, listen. He said, listen. He said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities powers. You understand? Against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. Everything that we're fighting is an unseen world. So you're not going to fight an unseen world. You understand? With something that you see. You understand? We understand that the world that the, the, the things you see were made by the things that, which, that do not appear. Are y'all listening to me? So the only way you're going to whip the devil, you got to whip him with what he is and that's a word. So look what the devil did. He said no. He said did we eat of it? She said we may eat of every tree of the garden but the tree that's in the midst of the garden. Now y'all hear it all the time. All the time and it's like why you keep telling me this? Because you're going to have to have it. Because we get me to come up for the final exam. You understand? And then I'm talking about you're going to have to put up or shut up to see whether or not you got this. Because this is an hour I'm shaking the heaven. I'm shaking the earth. And all those things that cannot be shaken will remain. Are y'all listening to me? I got to have this word because see the devil is coming. I'm letting the devil out. I'm loosing the devil. I'm letting demons come upon the face of this earth. Darkness is good. Get me to cover the earth and gross darkness. The people. That's not the sun going down. That's the powers of darkness. That's the rulers of darkness. That's demonic forces. And when the enemy comes in like a flood, you're going to have to have a standard to lift up against the devil. You understand? You're going to have to have something to defeat the devil. You understand? It ain't no carnal minded battle. You ain't going to be able to whip him. You're going to have to have the weapons that are mighty through God. Mighty through God. Mighty through that word. Put on the whole armor. Put on the helmet of salvation. The breastplate of righteousness. You understand? Gird up your loins about with truth. Shard your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And above all, take unto you the shield of faith that you may be to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take under you the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. The only way you're going to defeat him, your only weapon is the word of God. You got to be clothed with Christ, clothed with Jesus. Watch this now. So he looked at the woman. He said, listen, you shall not surely die. You know, watch this. Now you're talking to flesh. You should not surely die. He said, For God doth know. Now this flesh, you talking to pride. You talking to something that think is smarter. You talking to something that always wants to be an overachiever, think is smarter than God. You should not surely die. For God doth know in the day that you eat thereof. Then your eyes shall be open and you shall be as God, knowing. See, man always wants to know something. They always think they're smarter. I 
I was telling them down in Slidell, that's why God got to send you through not the wild, not even the wilder. God got to send you through the wilderness. You understand? You know what he's got to do it for? First thing he's got to do it for to humble you, to humiliate you, to show you you don't know nothing. You understand? He that think if he know of something when he know of nothing, as he all deceives his own self. We don't know nothing without God. Do you understand? I tell him all the time, you're but a vapor. Here today and gone tomorrow. How are you going with your vaporized self? Go to dictating and talking to God. You understand? He says, he said, God doth know in the day you eat the other. Then your eyes shall be opened and you shall be as God knowing good and evil. You understand? And when the woman saw flesh, when the woman saw that it was good for food, lust of the flesh and it was a, a fruit to be desired, a, 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 a pleasant to the eye. You understand the lust of the eye, a fruit to be desired to make one wiser. She took of the fruit and did eat and gave also to her husband that was with her. And the eyes of them both were open watch. And what happened was when they saw that they were naked, God made them in his own image and after his likeness. He made them in his own image and after his likeness. He didn't make them, you understand, with Louis Vuitton. He didn't make them with Christian Dior. He didn't make them, y'all didn't hear me, you understand, Saks of Fifth Avenue. He didn't make them, you know, Taylor made He created them and made them naked. They, they were naked and they were not ashamed. They were naked physically, but spiritually they had clothes on. They had God in them and they had God on them. And when they saw one another, they saw the word. When they saw one another, they saw the word. But when they ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, I told you when you eat of it, you're going to die. Because that word, that knowledge is going to separate you from God. It's going to disconnect you from that. In other words, in order to eat that word, you got to leave a word. So you got to leave me to get that. So when you leave me to get that, you done lost your clothes. You done stepped out your clothes. You done stepped out your authority. You done stepped out your power. Now watch this. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. You understand when Satan got cast out of heaven, he's in everlasting chains reserved in everlasting chains of darkness. He becomes a ruler in the dark world. Adam was a king in the light. Adam was a ruler in the light. Long as Adam was in the light, he controlled the rulers of darkness. Long as Adam walked in the light, everything was subject unto him. You understand? Things in heaven, things in earth was subject unto Adam. He was a ruler in the light. But when Adam ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, he lost that light and fell subject to the ruler of darkness. So when we, we, we ate of it, then what did it do to us? We became servants and slaves to the devil because Satan is the ruler of the power of darkness. So he lost that authority. He lost that right. He lost that dominion. Y'all don't give me what I'm saying. See, when you step out the light, you automatically lose your power and your authority over the devil. Your Bible said you believe if there's one God, if you do, you do well. The devils also believe and they tremble. The devils are scared of God. God is light and in him is no darkness at all. The entrance of the word giveth light. You understand the word of God is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. When that light comes in, I don't care how thick the darkness is. I don't care how thick it is. When that light comes on, I don't care how the darkness is all around the curtains, all under the pew. When that light comes on darkness, it don't be looking for its coat, looking for its hat, looking for its shoes. When that light comes on darkness immediately flees. Scientists amen, measure the distance between how the time when the light comes on and darkness, when the, uh, when the light comes on and darkness leaves, or when the light goes out and darkness comes in, they measured it up. They measured the distance when the, when between light and darkness. And they come up with a measurement. This is how fast that darkness will leave. It was, it was point nine zeros. 
two. You understand? After the point zero, that's it. But it's point nine zeros to let you know it's almost not no time when that light comes on. That's how fast. He said, I beheld Satan being cast out of heaven like what? Like lightning. It'll be just that fast. The Bible says, submit yourself therefore unto God and resist the devil. And guess what he'll do? Y'all don't care. Submit yourself therefore unto God. To submit means to adjust, adapt, become like. To submit means to adjust, adapt, become like. If you become like God, the devil don't walk away. He got to flee instantaneously. Y'all don't give me what I'm saying. I watch good news, y'all. So Adam failed. Adam failed, but he was made in the image and likeness of God. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God, and the word was God. The Bible said, listen. He said, God's word will not go out of his mouth and return unto him void. But it shall accomplish the thing whereunto it was sent. You understand? God's word goes out and does not return void. You're made in the image and likeness of God, and Satan knows that. You understand? God said, let there be, and it was. But then God tried to give us the information that death and life is in the power of the tongue. You understand what I'm saying? Let not your mouth cause your flesh to sin. The Bible said, he that keepeth his mouth keepeth his soul from, from trouble. He that keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his life. Your life is in your tongue. Your life is in your tongue. Jesus, after he cursed the fig tree, and the next day Peter and John looked and said, Jesus, the fig tree which thou cursed yesterday is withered up today. Jesus said, have faith in God. Have the faith of God. He said, verily I say unto you, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, and shall believe the thing which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. You're made in the image and likeness of God, and God knows it. That's why now man, you understand, we done killed ourselves. We, we done, when we ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, brother, listen, all the devil got to do is jump start you. Y'all don't hear me? All he got to do is just tempt you and make you kill yourself. All he got to do is put a bump on you and say you're yourself, I got cancer. All he got to do, you understand, is touch your chest and give you a slight pain. Oh, I'm having a heart. All he got to do is get you to go to talking. I ain't going to have this. I ain't going to be able to make it. I'm sick. My arthritis, my high blood pressure, my sugar diabetes, you understand, my asthma. You understand, if I can get you to go to talking, I ain't going to never be able to get it. Look like I ain't going to have nothing. This marriage ain't going to work. Listen, I don't see us being together this time next year. You understand? You understand? Watch y'all. Uh, listen, uh, this ain't going to be that ain't. Uh, remember in the original God, uh, the promises of God in him uh, are yay and not nay. Yay and amen. Uh, ain't no negativism in God. Uh, ain't no doubt in God. Uh, in God is life. Remember my son, uh, attend unto my words, incline thine ears uh, unto my saying, let them not depart from thine eyes. Uh, but keep them in the midst of thine heart. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they shall be life unto all that find them and health unto all their flesh. But keep the heart with all diligence, for out of it flow are the issues of life. In other words, if I can keep my heart and make sure that I don't speak nothing but God, ain't nothing gonna come out of this but life. If I get sick, I ain't saying nothing. He said, if I was sick, I wouldn't tell you. If I was hungry, you wouldn't know nothing about it because I ain't saying that I'm saying I'm fed I'm saying I'm blessed I'm saying I'm healed because guess what you don't even understand he sent his word and healed them but if he sent his word and healed them then you're made in the same image and likeness your word can heal you y'all don't hear me what I'm saying we waiting on somebody to lay hands on us but you can say it say it say it till you see it see it see it you can speak that thing y'all don't hear me as a man thinketh in his heart. So is he. Y'all don't give me, you understand, you got folk mentally ill, cause they thinking sick. Y'all don't give me, but you got some of us, like Apostle Paul, I think myself happy. I'm thinking on things that are lovely, things that are true, things that are honest, things that are good with 
report uh, things that are lovely. That's what I'm thinking about. Uh, and whatever I'm thinking about, uh, that's the thing that's going to happen. Uh, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaker. So whatever I'm thinking about uh, is going to come out of my creative mouth. Uh, I'm thinking good, so guess what I'm talking uh, I'm talking good. Uh, you ain't caught the revelation. Uh, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Uh, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Uh, and forget not none of his benefits. Why aren't you ain't caught it? Uh, he said, I'm the Lord that forgiveth uh, all thine iniquities. Uh, Y'all just be hearing me quote stuff, but you ain't catching it. Uh, he said, I'm the Lord that forgiveth all thine iniquities. Uh, and he all thy disease. I'm the Lord that redeemeth thy life from destruction. I'm the Lord that crowneth thy life with love and kindness and tender mercy. Watch now. I'm the Lord that crowneth thy life with love and kindness and tender mercy. But you ain't caught the next one. I'm the Lord that satisfied thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed as an eagle. In other words, I'm going to satisfy your mouth. I'm going to put something in your mouth that's going to cause you to speak and your mouth going to cause your youth to be renewed as an eagle. Your mouth going to cause you to come to the top. Your mouth going to cause you to become an overcomer. I'm giving to do this thing for y'all. Y'all got to listen to me. Watch and listen to what I'm saying. I'm not talking to Daryl McCoy. You understand? I'm blessed. I'm highly favored. And the Lord God is with me. I'm calling those things to be not as though they were. This is my year. This is my year. Y'all don't give me what I'm saying. This is my year. You understand? I got a word that told me if you suffer with me, you're going to reign with me. I got a word that told me that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that's getting ready to be revealed. I got a word that told me that God's not mock whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. You understand? I've been suffering. You know why? He that ceased from sin shall suffer in the flesh. You know why I've been suffering? Because I've been making my flesh amen, obey God. And when you obey God, your flesh suffer. You understand? Listen, God's not mouth. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. He that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But those of you that sow to the spirit, you shall love the spirit of life and peace. Y'all don't tell me what I'm saying. But here's the problem. You understand? Everything is beautiful in his time. You understand? David said, I had fainted unless I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. He, that's what kept David from fainting. Because David said, I'm going to see some good. I'm not waiting to my slice of pie in the old pine bar. I'm getting to see it right now. He said, you shall receive a hundredfold in this world. And that which is to come. David said I would have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. But David gave us a key. He said wait I say, wait upon the Lord and he shall, he shall strengthen thine heart. And some of y'all all you got to do is wait on him. Just wait on him. God's given to come through. I'm trying to tell you so to, so to the spirit. So to this word. I'm sowing to the word. You understand? I'm speaking the word. I'm sowing to the word. I'm over coming even with good. You understand? When they're good for you, so to the word. You understand? So to the word. And you shall of the word reap life and peace. Then he come around and told me, he said, be not weary in well doing. For in due season, you're going to reap if you faint not. You better hunch your neighbor. Say it's a due season. You understand? I come from Denver, Colorado. And it's a four season place. You understand? It is a spring, summer, fall, and winter place. Y'all don't hear me. You got summer. You got you have to have spring clothes, summer clothes, fall clothes, and winter clothes. Y'all don't hear me. In the natural, it's four season: spring, summer, fall, and winter. But when you get saved, you get another season. Y'all don't hear me. You get spring, summer, fall, and winter. But there's another season called due season. Called due season. Hold it just a minute. What is due season? Well, let's just deal with the do. With the D-U. What do mean I owe you? What you got do on a, on, a, on, a, on a piece of paper, on a letter that comes to your house, it means you owe somebody something. Do $500. You owe somebody $500. But there's a do season. If you wait on God and do what he tells you to do and live like God, if you do the D-O, you get the D-U-E. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. If you do the D-O, you get the D-U-E. If you do what God tells you, then you do, y'all don't hear me. If you do what God say, then you do a reward. He said, be 
not weary in well doing. For in due season, you're going to reap if you faint not. What are you saying? You got to listen to the Bible said now, man done failed. I'm coming in now. I'm bringing it in. I'm giving it to help myself. Y'all don't hear You understand? A man, he done fell. He done fell away from God. You understand what I'm saying? The Bible said he fell away from one man's sin. Have death passed unto all. Right? But Isaiah stood up in the midst of him after all of the fall. And Isaiah said, listen, unto us a child is born, a son is given. The government shall be up on his shoulder. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. And he said, to let you know I ain't lying. For a sign, a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a child. And they shall call his name Emmanuel. He shall be a root that grows up out of dry ground. There shall be no beauty in or comeliness to be desired of him. You understand what I'm saying? He will be rejected and despised. A man of sorrow, acquainted with grief. You understand? We esteemed him not. He was smitten. You understand? He was smitten of God and it pleased God to bruise him. But the Bible said, now who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? He was wounded. Hold it now. Was y'all. He was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we're healed. What do you mean? What are you saying? I'm coming down through 40 and 2 generations. Because I got a plan. I'm the one. Listen. Wait a minute now. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. And to present your faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. Well, if God you able to keep me from falling. How did I fall? Because you pushed him down. I pushed him down on purpose. Because see, good don't show you good. Light don't show you light. Life don't show you light. If I hadn't have pushed him down and let him see evil, he knew how he wouldn't have never knew how good I was. Had not I pushed him down and let him fall in the darkness, he would have knew that he would have never knew how much light I had. Had not I pushed him down and he walked in death, he wouldn't have knew that I was the light. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. So I did it on purpose. So now man got that understanding. He got the understanding that my God of good and evil, life and death, light and darkness. So now I can't let him eat of the tree until he get to, until he get uh, uh, get get repent uh, and get brought, uh, get blood washed again. Because if he if he get this knowledge uh, and eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and live, I mean eat of the tree of life uh, and live forever, he's a dangerous man. Uh, so I can't let him back into the garden uh, until something corner. Uh, there's got to be something car. I got an angel standing in front of the gate uh, with a flaming sword, uh, killing anything that tries to get in here. You understand? Uh, any flesh, I'm just gonna kill it. Uh, and wait, y'all don't kill me what I'm saying. Uh, Jesus came. Uh, you understand? Uh, Adam couldn't come because uh, he was in sin. Uh, and you know where there's no shedding of blood. Uh, there's no remission of sin. Uh, but Jesus came uh, down through 40 and 2 generations uh, to bring to us a redemptive story. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, this man came on the scene uh, and turned around and took at us uh, and said, now listen, uh, God so loved the world that he gave. Uh, he gave uh, his only begotten son. Uh, and whosoever believeth in him uh, shall not perish uh, and have everlasting life. Uh, and before this, Nicodemus told him, he said, listen, uh, he said, no man uh, can do the works that you do. Uh, you understand? Except uh, you understand he be from God. Uh, he said, Nicodemus, uh, you must be born again. You must, ain't no sense in trying to flatter me. Uh, you understand? You must be born again. Uh, this, this rabbi, uh, this doctor of divinity uh, said, how can a man uh, be born again? Uh, how can he return into his mother's womb a second time? Jesus said, what's born of flesh is flesh. Uh, what's born of spirit is spirit. Uh, he said, except a man be born uh, of the water and of the spirit. Uh, in other words, he got to be born again uh, of the spirit. Uh, he got to take on another word. Uh, he got to get another spirit. That's why David, when he messed up, he said, Lord, created me a clean heart. Renew it in me a right spirit. Get this word of adultery out of me. Get it out of me. Because if you don't, I'll do it again. Because I got this word in me. Change my nature. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. In other words, we got to be born again. Because when we ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, we took on another spirit. So we got to be born with another spirit. We got to take on God's nature all over again. 
and I love it when he said what can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of Jesus what can make me I feel deliverance on the way what can make me whole again nothing but the blood of Jesus and you listen we who are far off are made nigh unto God by the blood of the Lamb therefore if any man be in Christ he's a new creature all things are passed away and behold all things become new to wit this is what I want y'all to know it was God listen that same man that pushed you down it was God in Christ reconciling the world what you mean reconcile Rec reconcile something means to bring it back into union when Adam ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil has separated him from God and when God in Christ came he come to bring man back to, to himself God was in Christ reconciling the world back into himself he didn't stop there he gave us the same ministry of reconciliation y'all don't understand what I'm saying we got a word that can bring folk back to God we got a word that can bring perfect back to the original man I'm talking about but it's going to be an upgrade this this is going to be an upgrade the first Adam was a living soul but the last Adam was a quickening spirit we got something on us that can quicken folk and make folk come alive because what Adam could have did was quicken evil but he didn't have nothing just for himself but this last Adam is going to have enough power to quicken make things around you come alive y'all don't give me what I'm saying I'm trying to show y'all Jesus come on the scene. You understand for 33 and a half years. You understand? And what did he do it for? He came up on the scene. When he come to John the Baptist, John was baptizing at the river Jordan. And then Jesus, Jesus was walking and John said, Behold, the Lamb of God. I'm talking about the Lamb that was slain before the what? It was slain before the what? Slain before the what? He was slain before the foundation of the world. Why would you kill somebody? before the foundation because I knew man was going to fall. That's why I said he was wounded. He was bruised because he was already slain. Already had it in the plan whether the devil didn't even know if the prince of this world had a known he never would have crucified our Lord and Savior. If the prince of this world had a known he never would have touched our Lord and Savior. But remember as I am so are you in this world. The servant cannot be above the master. Neither did the disciple above his Lord. If the prince of this world had a known he never would have touched you he never would have come to you you don't understand every trial is getting me to take you to another level every tribulation is getting me to take you to another level because guess what if you like me when you go through something you looking for a word if you go through something you looking for a word if the devil tell you my god you done went through a word and powder look like folk trying to work you're trying to find a word no weapon from the gifts we go to prosper you give me power to trade up on serpents and over scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall my enemies hurt them. They're telling me they're trying to work. I'm trying to find a word that greater is he that is in me and he that is in the world. You telling me I'm not coming out my trial. You telling me I'm going to go through it. Let me find the word. As long as the earth remains, it's going to be seed time harvest. Night and day, winter, summer, cold and heat. Let me find the word. And weeping may endure for a night. The joy is coming in the morning. Let me find a word to everything. There's a season and a time to every purpose under the sun. Let me find a word. These light afflictions are but for a moment, but they're working in me afar, an exceeding greater way to go. Let me find a word that many may be my affliction, but God shall deliver me out of them all. Y'all don't tell me what I'm saying. Let me find a word. When you tell me that I'm weak and I'm not going to make it, you tell me I don't have enough strength. Let me find a word. You understand? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be, Whom shall I be afraid? Let me find the word. He's the saving strength of his anointed. You tell me I'm weak. You said in my weakness, the strength is made perfect. Let me find the word. You tell me I'm weak. He said, but be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You told me how to drug some poison. You told me my God, I'm a doubt. And he told me, uh, you shall take up serpents, uh, and if you drink uh, and it did that thing, uh, it shall not hurt you. Listen, uh, for every time we go through a trial, it's going to drive you closer to that word. It's going to drive you closer to God. And the devil tell you, you're all alone, and 
God that left you. Let me find the word. He'll never leave me nor forsake me. He'll be with me to the ends of the world. Let us stand in the sixth trouble year. Even in the seventh trouble, God is with me. I ain't scared. You understand? You tell about a spirit of fear. You tell about I got to be afraid. I ain't got to be afraid. I ain't got to be afraid. Because he told me, you understand? He ain't gave me a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. I ain't got a word to be afraid. I ain't got a word to be afraid. Because he told me that the righteous are bold as a lion. He told me I ain't got to be afraid when the wicked, even my enemies, and my foes come upon me to eat of my flesh. He said, I will not be afraid. You understand? Listen, for the Lord is with me. You understand? And this will I be confident. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I ain't worried. Be not terrified of your adversary. For it is an evident token. When you let the devil know you ain't scared. When you let the devil know you ain't scared. You may be a symbol. You understand? You may be a symbol. You may got a meow. But you ain't got to worry. You got a God by the a Musafa that'll put a war on the devil. Y'all don't care what I'm saying. Come on, say that. I got that war. I ain't scared. He said, listen, as I am, so are you in this world. There's some people going to walk like you. There's some people going to talk like you. You understand what I'm saying? You get better be conformed into the image of his son. You sitting around fussing and cussing. But the Bible said, for whom he foreknew, let me also predestinate. What am I going through for? Why is the hell of my home? Hell of my body? Hell of my mind? Hell of my job? Hell of my finances? Hell of my kin folks? In laws, outlaws? It's a purpose. It's a purpose. For whom he foreknew, let me also predestinate. Let me also predestinate that they might be conformed to the image of his son. You understand the purpose of it? I'm being conformed. I'm being conformed. I'm learning how to talk like my dad. I'm learning how to call those things. I'm learning how to call those things that be not as though they were. Are y'all listening to me today? I'm learning how to walk like my dad. I'm learning how to say I'm more than a conqueror. I'm learning how to say You understand that I'm an overcomer. I'm a watch this, y'all. He told me. He said, now listen. He listened. He came to his own, and his own received him not. And to his minutes received him. To them gave him power. Watch your better listen to become not the sons. You understand a man, not the son of a dog, a son of a cat. You will become sons of God. I give you power to become sons of God. Not that they were born of the will of blood or the will of flesh. It ain't got nothing to do with blood. It ain't got nothing to do with man's DNA. It ain't got nothing to do with flesh. It ain't got nothing to do with man. No scientific cross be nothing but of God. This birth is going to be of God. This birth is going to be of God. God's a spirit. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. It's going to be a word thing. And the Bible said, now watch now. He left us an example. And he said, follow his steps. He said, as I am. Y'all sitting around praying. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm not satisfied with a few churches. I'm not satisfied you ever step on a car, a diamond ring? I want more. I'm not satisfied with a church full of membership. You know what I want? I want to be like Jesus. I want to walk like Jesus. I want to live like Jesus. I understand when you come in my presence, I want you to feel the power of God. Those of you in the live stream tonight, this is your night. This is your miracle day. The word going to come through that screen. And I believe today there's going to be such a healing and such a healing, such a healing. There's gonna be such a healing. Y'all what I'm saying? What you keep saying healing for? Cause God don't just heal your body. He heals your mind. He heals your soul. He heals your relationship. He heals your house. Y'all heal, heal your finances. Lift your hand. It's gonna be a healing. It's gonna be a trouble. It's gonna be a healing up in here today. And God's gonna to heal. You might as well lift your hand. The power of God is present to heal. The power of God is present to heal.
you what you mean how do you know because I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ for it is the power of God and the salvation I done told you this man died you know step for your sin and my sin I done told you this man come to reconcile us back to God I done told you through his blood I done draw nigh unto God you understand I done told you and y'all listen to me today I done told y'all that this man that paid the price you understand he said for 33 and a half years I'm going to walk the face of this earth and for three and a half years I'm going to show you what I'm going to die for I'm going to show you what I'm going to pay the price for I'm going to show you pay attention to me I'm casting out devils I'm cleansing the leper trouble me monitor I'm cleansing the leper you understand what I'm saying I'm cleansing the leper I'm healing the sick I'm raising the dead three and a half years I'm looking at the star I'm saying peace be still I'm turning the water to water I'm walking on the water I'm going to a grave too of a man four days of stacking calling him by name saying come forth I'm stopping funerals I'm raising folk from the dead y'all don't come in and say I'm taking two fishes I'm changing the elements I'm fooling with the elements I'm telling stars peace be still I'm telling water so solidify so I can walk on it. I'm changing the elements. I'm taking two fishes and five loaves of bread and I'm feeding a multitude of over 5,000 men alone. That include the women and the children. I'm changing the elements. I'm changing and I come to show y'all. I come to show y'all. You understand when a man is sick. I'm coming to show you when I'm looking and I say, listen, thy sins be forgiven. What do you mean? You understand? Why you tell a man his sins be forgiven? He said, which is easy to say? Be healed uh, and thy sins be forgiven you. Uh, and I said, uh, thy sins be forgiven you. Uh, that thou mightest know uh, that the Son of Man, uh, after I leave here, uh, after I leave here, will have power to forgive sin. Uh, we say, ever since you remit, uh, we ain't got nobody, uh, we ain't got no business. Uh, let nobody die on our watch uh, and go to hell. Uh, we ain't got no business. Uh, let nobody die on our watch uh, and go to hell. Uh, if I go to that hospital, uh, you understand, and they got blood. Uh, running through their vein. I'm grabbing a hold of them and saying, Lord, you know all God needs. You know all we need is an intercessor. All we need is an intercessor. All we need is an intercessor. You understand? There's one God and one mediator between God and men. The man Christ Jesus is one mediator, one God and one mediator between God and men. The man Christ Jesus is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus at that day you'll know that I'm in the Father and you and me and I am in you and if the mediator is, is living in me then I can mediate for a person I don't care what they did I don't come in years and lift and sin if I can remit their sin, I can retain their sin, you get going to walk on the face of this earth, you're going to be just like God, you're going to be just like God and it's going to be just like God if God's a, if your father's a cat if your father's a cat if your father's a cat you understand when you're a cat if I keep teaching you this if your father's a rat you're a rat you got his DNA if your father's a dog then you're a dog but if your father's God I told you I tried to explain to you you are God what does that mean you're the children of the most high you understand guess what he did when he gave you the Holy Ghost he made you partake of his divine nature. I got something living in me that'll make me walk like God. I got something living in me that make me talk like God. Somebody said you're walking slow. It ain't but for a moment. It ain't but for a moment. I asked God one time. I said, God, why you leave me in my trial so long? He said, the reason for it, because didn't enough people know that you were going through it. He said, son, I don't get glory. I'm just delivering you. I won't fuck to see you go through. I want folk to see you down. And guess what? When I give it a blaze you up, they're going to know that a God, it is a God somewhere. You understand what I mean? So I don't question God. All I'm doing here is thanking God for 
for my miracle. Thanking God for my healing. Thanking God for my breakthrough. Because if God done one thing, he can do anything. If God done brought me out once, he can bring me out again. Y'all listen to me today. You understand what I'm saying? But can I tell y'all something? See, people like me. I said, people like me, man. I said, people like me. If God done delivered over and over. People like me. If God done healed over and over. People like me. If God done delivered over and over. People like me. That like the lost they mind. But God gave me peace over and over. Like James Cleveland said, he just keeps on doing great things for me. But if he done it once, he's going to do it again. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. He that come up to God must believe that he is. 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 Believe that he is as a present tense. I said, God. I said, man. I said, God. How can I know what you is? He said, son, if you know what I was, you'll know what I is. Because I'm he that is and was and is to be. Whatever I was, that's what I is. I was your healer. I was your deliverer. I was your waymaker. I was your shepherd. I was your shield. I was your redeemer. I was your light. I was your salvation. I was your man of war. I was your battle action. I was your shepherd. I was your healing. I was your strength. I was your peace. I was your joy. So guess what? Whatever I was, that's what I am. That's what I is. I'm in your peace. I'm in your joy. I'm in your deliverance. I'm in your salvation. Y'all better get ready. Somebody right now, I'm not looking to get healed. I'm already healed. I'm not looking to get blessed. I'm already blessed. You don't understand. I'm walking like God. If I was sick, if I was sick, I wouldn't even tell y'all. Y'all don't kill me. Somebody waiting on me to say something. I ain't telling you nothing. All I'm telling you, nobody but God. God can do anything. God can do anything. You better put your hand on your hip. Let your backbone slip and say, guess what? He's a heart fixer. He's a mind regulator. He's a manager. He's a doctor in your sick room. He's a lawyer in your courtroom. Y'all might as well get ready. I believe tonight is your miracle night. I believe tonight some of y'all are going to wake up and realize who you are. You're a sleeping giant. If I could just wake you up and let you see that you're made in his image and after the like this, and when you get the Holy Ghost, 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 let me tell you what it does. The same spirit that went to hell and raised Jesus from hell with all power in heaven and earth given unto him the same power that got the keys to death and hell. Guess what y'all? The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. Guess what y'all? You don't know what the Holy Ghost is. You don't know what the Holy Ghost is. You don't know what the Holy Ghost is. And the Holy Ghost in you is the power of the resurrection. That's why y'all, y'all better give me. You can't keep a God man down. You can't keep a a God coming down. You can't keep those that got the Holy Ghost. Y'all rise again. Y'all come back again. And the doctor has said, it ain't no more I can do. That's okay, doc. But it ain't no more that you can do. But ain't nobody said what God can do. But it's over with man. It's only beginning with God. Y'all better get ready. Because God is getting ready to begin. Your ending is your beginning. No ending uh, is your beginning. Uh, when man says over, God said you're just getting started. Uh, when man says quitting, uh, you're getting ready to get started. Uh, Y'all don't hear me. Uh, they said it was over for Jesus. Uh, but on the third day, uh, he broke. Uh, he broke. Uh, he broke. Uh, he didn't just break hell. Uh, he broke time. Uh, he didn't just break time. Uh, he broke the calendar. Uh, he made it go uh, in two different directions. Uh, I got that Holy Ghost. 
I got that anointing. I got that glory. I got that living word. I got that power. I got that life. I dare you to just touch somebody. Touch them on the shoulder and say, neighbor, this is your day for reconciliation. This is your day to recognize who you are. To recognize what God done done for you. As Jesus said, as I am, so are you in this world. The servant cannot be above his master. Neither the disciple above his Lord. But they shall be as the master shall be as the Lord. Jesus said, as I am, so are you in this world. Y'all better hear me. I got bonus in the day of judgment. Why ain't you scared? Because ask what y'all. I ain't got to be afraid. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Y'all better hear me. I'm not scared. I'm walking like God. Y'all better say it. You saying you're like God. Well, quit calling God your father. Quit calling God your father. If you ain't claiming God to be your father. But if he's your father, you can't be a dog. If God's your father, you can't be a rat. If God's your father, you can't be a cat. If God's your father, you can't even be a normal man. If God's your father, then you're just like God. Ye are God. And the devil scared of God. I said the devil scared of God. I said the devil scared of God. There's a people who can walk on the face of this earth. Paul I know. Jones I know. Steve I know. Mike I know. There's people that's going to be recorded in the dreadful regions of the town. Lacey I know. Jermaine Johnson I know. But the, the devil get rid of noise. It ain't because he know our name. But he know the name. He know the name. He know the name. Y'all better kill me. He knows the name in my name, in my name. I'm giving you Jesus in whom all the family in heaven and earth, his name. I'm Jesus. I'm there. Jesus McCoy. I'm there. Jesus McCoy. I'm there. Jesus McCoy. Not I, but the Christ that lives in me. And I'm an overcomer. I'm a healer. I'm a deliverer. It don't make no difference. It don't make no difference what you're going through. I don't care what the doctor say. I don't care what the rehab say. Is it anything too hard for God? 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 Jesus said, when you see me, you've seen the Father. When you see me, you've seen the Father. At that day, you'll know I'm in the Father, and you and me, and I'm in you, you and me, and I'm in you, when you see me, you have seen the Father, y'all better catch it, when they see us, they're going to see God, when they see us, they're going to see the Father, when the devil see us, we're going to back down, this is your hour, in the last day, I'm pouring out my spirit, in the last day, I'm pouring out a greater word, I'm pouring out a greater Norton. Somebody better just scream. Somebody better just scream. Live stream. Live stream. This is your miracle. Live stream. This is your healing. Live stream. Get your miracle. Put your hand on the TV. Put your hand on your iPad. Put your hand on your phone. Cry out to God. God send the word to your car. God sent a word on your child. God sent a word in your living room. But just think that God sent a word in your car, on your child, in your living room. Can you imagine what he's doing right here? Can you imagine what he's doing right here? Can you imagine what he's doing right here? God is healing. God is healing. God is healing. 
God is a living. Lift your hand. Shout glory. Only the folk that have got the liver know how to praise her. Only the folk that God has set for you know how to stand on your feet and give him praise. Only those that God has brought you out know how to lift your hand and give God glory. But be like Abraham. I'm staggering not at the promise at the promises of God through unbelief. But I'm strong in faith. I'm strong in faith. How do you know? Because he gave God glory. 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 Y'all trying to praise him when you get here. Y'all trying to praise him when you call yourself get here. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You better wait. You better go to praise him right now. Because it's already done. It's already done. It's already done. It's already done. I already got my miracle. I already got my breakthrough. I already the chains are broken. The disease is gone. The shackles are loose. It's already done. You have already blessed me with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. He have already given unto me all things that pertain to the life. It's already done. It's already done. It's already done. It's already done. Kotora. Koko koje kereka. Isho kotora. Ando bolo hocha. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. There's a spirit that dropped in here. There's a healing that dropped in here. There's a healing that dropped in here. There's a healing. 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 And then dropped in here. Somebody better lift your hand. Somebody better lift your hand. Lift them 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 hand. There's a renewal, there's a renewal, there's a revival, there's a restoring like you ain't never seen. There's a strip them come up in this place. There's some of y'all that got some strength. 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 There's somebody say, I got my strength. There's somebody say, you know, I'm better than a conqueror. There's somebody said, I'm born of God. And if I'm born of God, I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. I can come over anything. I can come over anything. It ain't nothing that comes that I can't overcome. It ain't that they're gonna happen and I'm not coming out of it. It ain't that I'm going to you, but I'm not gonna come out of it. Kotora lift your hand. Come on, worship him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yellow Bobo shot. Yellow Bobo, yeah, man, coke, yeah, man, answer. Come on, live stream. Come on, worship him with us. Come on, worship him with us. You know, boy, come on, come on, don't wait till the battle is over. Don't wait till the battle is over. This is your house. This is your new move. This is your fresh anointing. This is your chosen fast. This is it. This that next cry. This that next glory. That's next dedication. Come on, come on, shout to you. Let it go, rabba, rabba, banse. Kilo, robo, robo, koshe, kebe, osandie. Glory, glory, glory. Come on, come on, reach up to him. Reach up to God. Reach up to God. And I feel the presence of God. The power of God is here to heal. 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 You know, bro, Baba Bansake. There it is, there it is. That devil don't like that praise. He don't like that. He don't like that post-dated praise. He don't like that post-dated praise. Because that's a sign you believe. That's a sign that I'm waiting on what I believe. That's a sign that I believe. And that's a sign that I'm waiting on what I believe. That's a sign that I believe. And that's a sign that I'm waiting on what I believe. Oh, glory, 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 glory. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Savior, mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for my healing. Thank you for washing me. Thank you for covering me with your blood. Hiding me behind your cross. Thank you for forgiving me for my sin. Thank you for blotting out my transgression. Thank you for cleansing me, washing me, throwing and purging me from every hidden iniquity, every secret sin. Thank you for laying the axe to the root of every ungodly lie, exaggerating, talking too much, gossiping, a Dutch with pride, amen, arrogant, a Dutch was for perverted spirit uh, cry out tell him God uh, thank you for deliverance 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 thank you there it is there it is thank you for deliverance there it is lift him hands you know Bobo Bobo Sata that's what the devil don't like the devil don't like that praise the devil don't like that raw praise the devil don't like that praise in advance he don't like that praise for your children thank you for saving my children don't say no lord save my children say thank you for saving my children thank you for healing my body thank you for opening the door lord thank you for making a way out of no way lord thank you for breaking every yoke lord thank you for for, for for healing my body lord thank you for my deliverance lord thank you for my breakthrough lord thank you lord thank you lord for my turnaround lord thank you for my breakthrough thank you for my turnaround lord come on thank you thank god thank god it's already done call those things that be not as though they were thank you thank you you're made in the image and likeness of God let there be let there be peace let there be pro prosperity let there be health let there be life let there be joy let there be power let there be wealth prophesy prophesy I would that all y'all prophesy prophesy to yourself prophesy you know boys Somebody just got a breakthrough. Your tears then brought your breakthrough. Your cry and saved your children. Your cry and just gave you that breakthrough. The turn around, the turn around, the turn around. This is it. Ye are gods. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Jesus who thought it not robbery to be equal with God, that word, become word, become word, become word, become word, become a creator, become a creator, become a creator. Darkness is scared of the light. Darkness is scared of the light. Darkness is scared of the light. Let your light shine, Jesus. Shine on me, shine on me, shine on me, Jesus, shine on me, Jesus, shine on me, Jesus. Let the light from heaven shine on me, Jesus, shine, Lord, shine on me, Jesus. Let the light from heaven shine. You know, bo -bo 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 shout there, somebody right now, you feel in the presence of God. There's a spirit of healing. There's a spirit of deliverance in this place. There's a brokenness, God, that's God sweeping through this building. You can tell when he's here. 
Because he breaks tears. He brings not tears of sorrow, but tears of joy. Tears of release. Tears of deliverance. You know, but, 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 but somebody just got completely healed. The fever is gone. The sore throat is gone. The backache is gone. The headache is gone. The depression is gone. The worry is gone. The weakness is gone. Oh, God, thank you, Lord. Thank you for sending the word, Lord, to heal Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for sending the word. Thank you for sending the word. Thank you for sending the word, Jesus. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, touch the live stream, Lord. Oh, God, touch them, Lord. God, I wish that many of them could have came. But all some of my God is this live stream. Send your word to heal. Touch the mothers. Touch, Lord. Look on Sister Camille. Look on different ones, Lord. Touch them. Strengthen them, Jesus. Touch him, Lord. Touch him, Jesus. Strengthen your people, Lord. Heal your people, Lord. Heal Father, we worship you. Heal and say, cover us with your blood. Forgive me for my sins. Somebody just need to talk to him while he's present. Just tell him, forgive me for my sins. Tell him while he's present, Lord, heal me, Lord. I want to do right. While he's present, tell him, Lord, just give me strength. I want to do right. While the power of God is present, tell him, Lord, I want to fast. I want to pray. I want to make every day of this consecration. Father, Lord, call upon him. 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 God bless you. Those of you on the live stream, I believe that God did something marvelous, miraculous for you tonight. And I know what he's done here in the live service. Can I imagine what he's doing for you in the live stream? But we appreciate you. We love you so much. Until the next service, may God bless you. If God gave you a Holy Ghost breakthrough like something. Trumpet and Zion live stream, it's giving time. The first giving option is Cash App. That's dollar sign, give T-I-Z. The second giving option is PayPal. That's paypal.me forward slash give T-I-Z. You can also mail in your gift. Send all gifts to P.O. Box 1267, Gulfport, Mississippi 39502. On behalf of Trumpet and Zion Fellowship and our leader, Brother Daryl McCoy Sr., we want to say thank you for all of your love, all of your gifts, and all of your support. Trump and Zion Fellowship desires, above all else, to move the gospel of Jesus steadily forward. And one of the most exciting ways we do so is with the construction of our brand new Augusta, Georgia church. We expect to complete construction by the end of this year. And it's because of your diligence and willingness to give and to support that make this labor of love possible. Again, we say thank you, Livestream, for all that you do. Remember to stay prayerful, stay joyful, and remain faithful and diligent in all that you do for the name of Christ. We can't wait to see you.